It's been so crazy. I moved from Chicago to Cleveland. I've been working on my house. I got super busy with work, but I'm back to regular scheduled programming, but I'm back to vlogging. Super excited to catch you guys up. Um, my house is pretty much done. We're in my master bathroom right now. Also, don't mind my hair right now. I'm getting ready to go to my husband's cousin's engagement party thing. Super excited to be back to vlogging and I have some trips coming up, so I'm super excited about that. And obviously gonna bring you guys along with me. I'm going to New York in November for Deep's birthday. And then I'm going to Orlando in December for a Palestine convention. And then in February, I think Deep and I are going to Paris and London, which I'm super excited about. I really miss Paris. I love Paris so much and I'm gonna obviously vlog all my upcoming trips and but, um, I really want to get into making more content like other than my travel vlogging just more thought out fashion content so I think I'm gonna start doing that but for today I'm gonna give you guys a house tour uh, but before that I am wearing this dress to the Deep's Cousins engagement super cute i don't remember where i got it i got it a long time ago but it's really it's giving me like 2000s vibes i don't know i feel like dresses like this they're pretty classic and they don't go out of style but um i love it so i'm gonna finish my hair right now oh and i got bangs <laughs> i'm gonna I'll style them and i'll show you guys right now I washed my bangs in the shower because bangs get super greasy super fast but I didn't wash the rest of my hair. I'm saving that for tomorrow but I'm going to add some my favorite dry shampoo. It's plant based dry shampoo um, all over my head because it's pretty greasy right now. Usually I like to apply this before doing my makeup because it falls on your face But I completely forgot to do that. So We'll just have to wipe it off You can see it's getting on my face and it's getting on my dress. It's okay though So I think I want to do Since this is a turtleneck dress I think I want to put my hair up either in a bun with my bangs down, a high thick braid. So we'll see what looks better. If I can even do it on myself, make it look semi-professional. I'm sorry for this yellow lighting. We haven't changed the bulbs yet in the house. So like half of them are um, more of that like blue, like normal light. And then the other half are these like loungy yellow types. Of They're super annoying in your face all day, but it really like gives you like an edgy, edgy, uh, edgier look. Obviously, if you guys can tell from like how my hair is now versus prior videos, I don't know. I like it, kind of like it. Honestly, this dress looks cute with my hair down. It's kind of giving, but I just feel like it's a crime to keep your hair down when you have a turtleneck on. Not a turtleneck per se, but just a turtleneck dress. I wish I had a regular hair tie. Why don't I have a regular hair tie anywhere? She had these big scrunchies. I guess now I should pick out my shoes, pick out some accessories, and I'll report back. I'll try to give you the house tour now as quickly as I can. House is kind of messy, but 
I want to show you guys like my massive mirror. I actually used it for my wedding names. I put like the vinyl with everyone's names on it. So, because I knew I wanted a big mirror for my house, but I didn't want to spend money on a big mirror and then pay for someone to rent their mirror and their vinyl. So I just bought my own mirror, had somebody like make the um, names for me for the vinyl letters and stuff. Friend was able to put all of that on the mirror and then I just took it off after the wedding and just put the mirror in my house. So I'm gonna show you guys that because I love it. Okay, so we're gonna start with the entryway. There's me. And this is the entryway. We completely redid everything. There's my little bench I added with some cute fashion books. And then to the left is the guest bathroom, which we need to change the lights for because it's still yellow. And then to the right of the entryway is the dining room, which is still not finished, as you can see. And then this beautiful couch I got from our house and you continue walking and this is my favorite space the kitchen obviously cabinets aren't done yet but we got a microwave um, my coffee machine my beautiful blue cabinets my little wood uh, island and then yeah the rest of the kitchen and now this is our kitchen table look at how nice it is this table is also from our house. I just freaking love that place. Um, rug is from Pottery Barn Outlet and chairs are Wayfair. So move on to the family room. This is the mirror. I freaking love this mirror. Also from our house, heavily discounted. I got it such a good deal. This bookshelf we built, this this corner used to have a um, like a sink area, which is like super outdated. So we took that out and built this bookshelf that we're not done with yet and then into the family room there's our little fireplace and the rest of our furniture um, i got these couches from our house as well and this table super obsessed um fun fact this table was actually supposed to be the centerpiece of this what was supposed to be sectional but it didn't fit like the couch was sticking out way too much so we just made it into the coffee table and it just worked out because it looks like we did it on purpose so first we'll enter into the master bedroom and then where i was just filming my master bathroom i freaking love it i love the tiling um it's just my vibe that shower is my vibe i love taking showers in here now um my messy little makeup area where you guys were just watching me do my hair and makeup to the other bedrooms this is just a little closet and then this is the first guest bathroom so nice so modern minimalist vibes this is just one of the bedrooms where deep's brother sleeps sometimes this is the second bedroom um obviously we've had guests over already and i made this bathroom the same exact one as the other bathroom except this one's just a stand-up shower and the other one has a bathtub in it fair bed is from wayfair same bed as the other bedroom from wayfair and then there's a last best bedroom up here and this is the bedroom i'm actually going to make into my closet so you see right now i'm using the floor in that area and i have a suitcase there and stuff but i want to like I want to like make this into a legit walk-in closet but not least we have the basement like you can see there's a little island they got their hookah stuff going on this is some stuff i need to unpack still um super cute like look at the mini fridge and the little microwave and coffee station just so cute everything is redone and then you go into here and this is the basement bathroom it's super cool like blue vibes that is my little home tour we've been working on and i'm so excited to start vlogging again and if you guys want to see anything specific let me know in the comments below and i'm gonna try to bring more content for you guys more fashion content hey guys welcome back to another day it is two days later didn't really do much today i worked a little and i cooked i actually made chili it's pretty cold out now so chili sounded so good and it was 
delicious. I found this recipe online. If you guys are interested, I can link it below. Tonight, we are going to Deep's friend's birthday dinner. It's gonna be pretty chill. Um, I woke up super early, so I'm like very lazy. I kind of just want to lay on the couch and watch TV. I have this pile of laundry that needs to get done. And that, there's not much going on. I'm going back to Chicago this weekend. I have events back home for family. So that's gonna be super fun. I get to see my best friend. I haven't seen her in like a few weeks and I miss her so much. Miss my parents and my puppy and excited to be back in the city. I miss it so much and pretty much it for tonight. I can show you guys my outfit for a casual dinner out. All right, so I'm wearing these Aritzia jeans. Um, I feel like they're kind of wrinkly though since they didn't properly dry. Um, but whatever. And then this belt, I got it a long time ago. I do not know where I got it from. Stuart Weitzman boots. They're kind of tall. They stop like right there. And then this shirt is also from Maritzia. Um, I need to go shopping for this winter because, uh, or else I'm gonna be repeating literally everything from last winter. Um, it's just like an easy go-to look. All black look. Hey guys, I didn't have a chance to film right before I left, but look at Deeb. Um, this is what I ended up wearing. We just got back and it was a fun night and I'll talk to you guys later. Guys, welcome back. It is Wednesday and, oh, that's very bright. Um, I am in Chicago for the week visiting my mom, friend's daughter's birthday party, and then I have my cousin's baby shower this weekend. So I decided I'd just come and stay for the entire week. Besides that, I don't really have any plans this week except I'm going to Iman's house tonight and we're going to watch Hocus Pocus and be silly. So besides that, today I'm going to be filming a product review for the new Nike and Jacques Mousse release. So check that video out, film that, and post it before I post this vlog. I'm going to record another video of some cheap finds I found yesterday. But yeah, other than that, I'm really going to try to focus on getting more content out there. I know I keep saying that, but, you know, life gets in the way. I really want to start uploading, like, a bunch of YouTube videos, like at least try to get one or two videos out there a week. So let me know what kind of content you guys um, like seeing the most and still going to be doing travel vlogging. Like I said, I have a lot of travel coming up, but aside from that, I really want to do more product reviews and um, shopping hauls since I have a shopping addiction and more like week in the life when I actually have things going on. I'm gonna go film my product review right now and check back in with you guys later. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, I am back in Cleveland. I'm sorry for my appearance. I have no makeup on, I look gross. I am back into making um, more TikToks and more content. I'm gonna TikTok today, but I really didn't feel like putting makeup on. Those who get it, get it. Those who don't, don't. But I kind of want to show the process of me picking out my outfits in my little closet room area that um, hopefully soon I'm going to get to redo and make it into a full-on wardrobe room. So let me show you really quick. So this is the room. There's a lot of crap everywhere. That's where I've been filming stuff, like propping my phone up. You see there's like <laughs> shoes everywhere, purses, all my summer shoes are still here and I have like pants and stuff in that suitcase and this closet full of my stuff. I still have a bunch of stuff left at home that I didn't bring. I've just been bringing my clothes slowly but as you can see this is not the look. This is not how I want to be um, leaving my stuff out so hopefully Soon we could start a little project and I can like build a little wardrobe area here and then build another wardrobe area here and then I'll leave the window for natural light and then um, maybe put something over there, uh, maybe like a full length mirror right there actually and then get like a little rug for the center and either put a chair, like a lounging chair in the center or um, one of those little square islands where you could put uh, with drawers where you could put like your jewelry and stuff. So yeah, we'll see Just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update of what I've been up to today I don't really have any crazy plans the rest of the week, but I will check back in with you guys soon. Bye Hey guys, happy Friday. I am just chilling on my couch. I'm so happy 
the weekend is here don't have much plans i am gonna cook dinner tonight my husband and his brother were like little trio bffs um they requested this hibachi dish we saw on tiktok so i'm gonna attempt to make it tonight today i didn't do much i worked out and i filmed a couple of tiktoks and i don't know does anybody else get ever get in the mood like like why am i doing this right now why am i filming like i don't know i just get into like really random moods where i'm like oh these videos aren't gonna be good they're not gonna go anywhere what's the point of filming etc not like youtube videos i really enjoy making youtube videos and talking to you guys and being able to talk as long as i want but i feel like when it comes to tiktok videos especially someone like me who is not growing at all yet on tiktok i like struggle with trying to find like the perfect content for tiktok it's like you can't really talk that long, you know, there, people don't have much patience on TikTok like you can on YouTube. TikTok is like the fastest growing social media platform right now. So like, I feel like if you grow a lot on TikTok, then organically your Instagram and like your YouTube's gonna grow. I'm still hoping I can grow the fastest through YouTube because I love making YouTube videos the most, but I'm just gonna keep working at my TikTok and, and making content that people are going to enjoy. But if anybody else struggles with this, let me know in the comments. Those are my thoughts of the day. So I'm going to head to the grocery store right now, pick up those ingredients, and yeah, we will film, film some dinner. Okay, so we started making the hibachi. I got the recipe from this guy on TikTok. I will put the video in my bio if you guys care. We've got our steak, veggies, onion, shrimp. I made the sauce. Left it out just in case I need to make more egg whites and not whites, yolk and the rice. I'll let you guys know what the finished product looks like or what it tastes like. Hopefully it tastes good because the guy did not put any measurements in the video. So I just eyeballed everything and we'll just do some taste testing and make sure it all tastes good. Hi guys! Amy Manor here. I'm back in Chicago. She came specifically for me. She's yeah. literally the best person that God has ever created in the whole entire world. My sister's born tomorrow. Of course I'm gonna come. But she brought me as her plus one to the big event. It's an event that is their first event in Chicago. The last time that I went to one of their events was in New York. It's like a little pop-up that they're doing. They actually have like a pop-up on Michigan Avenue where they're selling stuff for the next week. Uh, but they're like, they posted a, like a dinner last this week and then this is another dinner for just their like ambassadors or whatever. Um, and it's so special because it just feels like a community of people. And I got to bring Sabrina along this time and <laughs> yeah, and I have a lot of fun. I'm pretending like I work in things too. <laughs> yeah, she's like, I'm also a dental hygienist. Yeah. yeah. I'm vlogging for them right yeah. now. Our little mocktails. Um, I'll show you guys what the room looks like. It looks really cute. Hi friends. It is the next day. We're getting ready to go to dinner for Eman's birthday in Chicago. We are going to Taxim. It's actually one of our favorite places to go. We've been going there for a long time for dinner. Um, they have the best lamb chops. So we're gonna go, my mom's coming with me. Tonight, we are going to, the, to this like little Middle Eastern concert thing, kind of like a hookah bar cafe sort of vibe and he'll be singing and it'll be fun you can like dance wherever you're sitting at and smoke some hookah if you choose to do so it'll be a fun filled night of birthday celebrations so stay tuned i wanted to quickly show you guys my outfit um this jacket is a long leather trench coat i got from ukes my sweater you've seen me wear it previously it's from aritzia and then my belt and then my jeans from Aritzia and my Stuart Weitzman loafers. So yeah, that's it. Look at these super cute pictures we got last night from the Figs event. So cute. 